All right. So here is a couple examples of the blown flowers. And I just use a piece of aquarium tubing. These are four inch tiles. And we're going to be doing four um, six inch tiles today. Hey, Dina, how are you doing? Oh, you changed your name. All right. And Creations by Baby Doll. How was your guys' weekend? How are you ladies doing? So here's a couple that have gotten, um, they're already finished. They've gotten clear coat on them. And I've been just putting a uh, sawtooth hanger and then two little pieces of like, um, it's like padding for furniture, just so then it sits with the hanger, it sits flush against the wall. Hey, May Wynn, how are you doing? So here's just a couple examples. That one has some gold in it, real pretty. So I'm going to set those aside and I'm going to do a few others. Hey, Robert Burke, how are you doing? How have you been? I haven't talked to you in a little while. Well, you popped in one live uh, like last week or so. Maybe it was about a week and a half ago. I don't know. You like popped in and popped out, but that's barely. I barely talked to you. <laughs> Wonderful and frozen. Yes, I saw a couple of your weather updates. Yes, it looked cold. Snowy. Hey, the Simple Joys. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome, everybody, and how's everyone's weekend? I'm going to put a base coat of uh, real, real light blue. Hey, Vinny, how are you doing? How you feeling, bud? How you been? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Vinny. All right, so I've got just a real light base coat of blue I'm going to throw down here. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming in. This is the boring parts that I sometimes speed through on the video when I'm just putting out the base coat. <laughs> I just use a plastic uh, palette knife. And just kind of spread it around, kind of like you're frosting a cake. Get the extra off the knife. Yeah, so awesome. Everybody come in to hang out. All right, this color is called Berry Cobbler. Actually, before we put the Berry Cobbler, I'm actually going to put a little bit of permanent violet. And then I'm going to put on top of it the Berry Cobbler. And then, same as usual. All right. So what I have is this piece of aquarium tubing. You guys have seen me use it quite a bit. And I'm just going to real lightly blow through and try to get kind of an abstract flower look. Now this one has zero silicone. So let's see what we can get with absolutely no silicone. Then we might go ahead and pull the silicone out and see what we can get the next ones if we add silicone. We're gonna compare here. Got to kind of catch my breath a bit. Oh, you just made some homemade biscuits. Oh, yummy, yummy. That sounds good. I love some good homemade biscuits with a little bit of honey. Oh, you're just about ready for bed, the Simple Joys. Uh, are you in, you're in Australia, I believe, right? Where are you at, oh, the Simple Joys? All right, caught my breath a little bit. Now I'm going to blow out the other side a little bit. Oh, 
Well, thank you for, oh yeah, Australia. Okay, Queensland, Australia. That is awesome. Well, thank you for coming in before bed. Oh, you got some raw honey to put on there. Oh, yummy, yeah. Biscuits with a little bit of honey, that's good. That's good stuff. That's awesome. You're practicing your biscuits, practicing your technique. Now, do you, now some people, they roll their biscuits and some people don't even roll their biscuits out. They just kind of, I don't know, I just kind of throw it out and then just start uh, cutting them. So do you roll your biscuits and then cut them or do you just kind of pour the dough out and start cutting from the dough without rolling? Oh, no, that's all right, Vinny. That's all right. Uh, I work in your chat every once in a while. I don't chat in many people's chat anymore since we have you know, the drama and stuff. But I lurk. I'm there checking everybody out and seeing how everybody's doing. So um, I've, I've been in your chat a few times. I just don't say much. Uh, but no, that's okay, Vinny. I totally understand. Busy, busy time of the year. It's getting to be the holiday season and just life. Life just gets you busy. All right, guys. So that had zero silicone. And I do use um, Floetrol in my paints. So that will create a little bit of uh, the cell action, the round little cells. Now, I do see a few bubbles of air that I have. Oh. Did you hear that? That noise? The um. Okay. Did you see Mike? Can you take my torch? I don't want it. <laughs> Did you see that? I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god! Did you guys see that? Oh my god! That's not how you're really supposed to be torching things. It's supposed to be just a little, like a little flame, not a humongous flame. Oh, my God. That was hilarious. Oh, my God. Let's not burn the house down on a live stream. That would be, oh, my God, terrible. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, it's a simple choice. Yeah, I totally, um, sometimes I'm also, I'm painting, so I can't chat too much. So I'm just kind of there lurking because, um. I've got my hands full of paint. Oh, I don't like the torch anymore. Did you guys see that flame? <laughs> oh, you're having some troll issues. Yeah, Vinny. I, it's, it's the same group, I think. Uh, I've tried to avoid chatting in certain group of, because it's, it's that same group. That's unfortunate. I don't see. Uh. Hey. Amber, how are you doing? Yeah, the notifications, oh, they're so terrible. Sometimes they just, I don't know. Notifications are terrible. So, I don't know. I'm nervous to use my torch now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so let me move that one to the back. You can really see where it torched it out. <laughs> Oh, hey, Queens, Queens Hearts LA, how are you doing? How you been? Thanks for coming in. How was everyone's weekend? <clears throat> you know, we had our first um, bazaar, our first craft sale, art sale of the season. And it was, you know, kind of our smallest one. It's a good one to kick off the season because it's our smallest one of the season. So um, I don't know. I don't know. It didn't go as well as I would have liked. But it definitely, it we did good, but not as good as last year, let's just say. But this, this coming weekend, Friday and Saturday, is the biggest uh, of the craft sales we have for the season. Yes, what was going on with my torch? Mike says he, fi he, he fixed it, but oh my gosh, that startled me. I'm like, take it, I don't want it. <laughs> uh, it's only supposed to be a, a, a much smaller flame.
time and you just kind of quickly over the top. Uh, it's not supposed to be that big of one. <laughs> oh, oh, that startled me. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to burn the house down. Ah. Because right above that is my camera and everything. I was like, oh my God, it's going to catch it all on fire. I've never had that. That's not usually how it is. I don't know. Should we try it? Should we try it? I'm kind of scared. See, that's how it's supposed to be. Oof, I'm startled now. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, now we have some plum, a little bit different of a purple. I'm going to put just kind of in the middle. We're just kind of doing some different looks. Oh, no, you have a rash and your joints hurt. Uh, is your, it, have you had shingles? Is it, ooh. I've had shingles a couple times. That is no fun. And it can make your joints hurt. It's a whole, it makes your whole nervous system. And your joints. That's no good. Oh, I hope that goes away. Um, you know, when I first started painting, uh, doing the fluid acrylics, I used the glue. A lot of people use glue in their mix. And uh, I'm allergic to glue. So I got hives terrible bad hives so um have you been doing any paint pouring with the glue mix i think it's just an allergy so i don't think it's for everybody i think some people can use the glue mix just fine but i cannot i but i have an allergy to like all adhesives like band-aids and like medical tape and stuff um the medium, the glue, yeah. Some people use a glue mix. I do not use glue because I'm allergic to it. I use Floetrol. Oh, okay. Yeah, some people do use that. I can tell I'm not going to get nearly as many. Maybe this next one I will put a little bit of silicone. <laughs> oh my gosh the simple joints that's hilarious okay so uh, my dad had a very similar joke when he was trying to quit smoking just a minute let me blow this one out and then I'll tell you my dad's that's kind of similar joke So my dad was trying to quit smoking a couple years ago. He smoked cigarettes his whole life. I mean, since like early teen. And so he uh, he got some of those Nicorette patches. And he tells me on the phone, I, I called him, asked him, so how are those patches working? He goes, I keep rolling them up and I keep lighting them, but they don't stay lit. <laughs> and so for the longest time, he kept trying to tell us that he was trying to smoke his Nicorette. Nicorette patches, but he was just joking. He was, he, they actually ended up working and he's, he, that was probably seven years ago, six, seven years ago. And he's quit smoking cigarettes after like 45 years of smoking cigarettes. So they actually ended up working great. But for the longest time, he used to tell us, I'd roll them up and I light them and they just won't stay lit. <laughs> so, but so that kind of reminded me of that joke of my dad's but uh the doctor said the pool would be good for my joints but I can never like them once they're wet that's awesome <laughs> should we try to torch it guys I'm kind of startled too but let's try okay it's working 
No humongous flame. See, that's what you're supposed to have is just that little flame, not a humongous flame like it did that earlier. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, Mike's doing well. He's got, um, you know, he quit chewing. So he has these little pouches that are just pure nicotine. And they're like two milligram or they're, they're much less than a, I don't know what, like, I don't think it's a milligram. I don't know what dosage or whatever, but it's a lot less than chewing. And he's, he's slowly, uh, he's doing really, really well on, you know, weaning off the chew. But it's neat that they have these products that do help with quitting chewing, quitting smoking, all those things. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I think they turned out pretty good, especially for no silicone. Now I have two more tiles and I'm going to put some silicone in there. But I was thinking about doing some maybe some different. Um, not just blown in the center and stuff like that. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome, Robert. That's really good. You're doing good. I remember, I remember when you first quit smoking. Yeah. Oh, you, you, Amber, you say you think it's lupus. Oh my. Um, go in, they can do a blood test. I believe it's called a ANA. I believe it's, it's, it's three acronyms and it's a blood test and it's an immunodeficiency disorder blood test and it'll test for lupus, MS, um, a few others. And so like, for instance, I've had that test done because I've had some immuno issues, some immune uh, system issues. So they tested me, I think it's the ANA. Mike might know. He remembers a lot of these. See, when I had a lot of that done was right after stroke. So I don't remember. Yeah, ANA. Um, I come back positive, but non-specific. So it comes back positive that I have an immunodeficiency disorder. Like um, it's the test is for lupus, MS, a bunch of like disorders of the immune system and stuff like that. But I come back positive, but non-specific. So we can't, uh, like, we can't treat it because it's nonspecific. We don't know if we need to treat lupus or we need to treat MS or, you know, so, uh, so it's a, just a quick blood test. All your symptoms mapping, matching up. It may be body just delivered. Oh, you did the blood test on um, Thursday? Is that what you're saying? So yeah, they it's an ANA blood test and it tests for a whole bunch of different, it's like five or six different. For some reason, I can only think of lupus and MS, but it tests for several different. Um, so I'm gonna put a bunch of paint in here and then I'm gonna put silicone in that paint, but it tests for a bunch of different um, like immunodeficiency disorders. So I have my uh, treadmill lubricant and I'm just going to put one, whoop, way more than one went in there. That's okay. Now we're going to find a popsicle stick. So this one's going to have a lot of silicone actually. <laughs> Good morning, crafty ladybug. Good morning, Katie. How are you doing? Yeah, um, Amber, I totally feel, I, I totally understand not being diagnosed. And see, I ran a fever for three and a half years. I ran a fever and they could not figure out why I ran a fever for three and a half years. And um, I had all kinds of little like, nothing like major health going on, but all these little health issues. And they just kept telling me that's your new normal. 
that's your new normal. I'm like my a fever. That's my new normal. And it was terrible. It was very hard. So this one we're going to blow kind of from like it, the flowers on the, the side, the edge over here. So I totally, sometimes you just want a diagnosis. Oh, you've got the butterfly rash. Okay, yes. But, but I mean, sometimes it's not the end of the world to get, you can get the diagnosis and then finally get a treatment. So sometimes that's, you just need that diagnosis so you can finally be treated. I totally get it. It was 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, I knew it was late. I hadn't added up the hours. Well, thank you so much for coming in, my the Simply Joys. Uh, yeah, come in anytime on Tuesday mornings. It'll be Wednesday early morning for you. Yes, I'm so sorry, Amber. I totally understand. It's it's miserable. Sometimes, yes. But the treatment for anything like that is so much better now. I have a friend with lupus, and uh, she was diagnosed when we were in high school. And now her medications are so much better for her. They don't attack her kidneys nearly as much. All right, the Simple Joyce, you have a good night, and thank you so much for coming in. Have a good one. All right, I'm going to blow this one a little bit. We're going to just experiment. This is a new one for me. I don't know. We'll see how this ends up. I don't think we have enough paint. I think we needed more paint to get all the way across, but we're going to kind of stretch it a bit. All right, Vinny, I totally understand. Yeah, that's why I do lots. Just watch and listen. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to grab another popsicle stick and I'm going to try to kind of mess with it for a minute and then we might put some more paint on it. Trying to catch up on the chat a little bit. I don't know. I can't decide. I kind of like it, kind of don't. <clears throat> You've been tested uh, for the lupus and it comes back negative. A lot of similar uh, symptoms with lupus and fibro. Just a little bit, not much, guys. I'm going to put it in here. I wish I'd put just a tad bit more of the yellow, but I think for a first try at this one on the edge, I usually always do them in the center or do it as like a scene with stems and
Yeah, CBD can work amazing for pain, for sure. All right. Oh, I, I had dropped one more little drop here. I forgot. I see it's got a little. And I was just about to say, all right, I'm done with this one. But. Oh, thank you, Dina. Oh, you saw a black and white one. You'd like to add silver, yeah. I've done a couple of black and white with just silver and then with just uh, silver and blue. I've done a few similar like that. So my tablecloth, it needs to be changed out. It's getting quite painty quickly. <laughs> I, I just changed it recently. All right. These are just six inch tiles. And all of, I don't have any white mixed up today. So I'm just using the blue as my background color. It still looks great anyways. But I don't have any white mixed up anyways, and that's why I'm doing it. A little bit more blue than I really needed, but that's okay. Get the edges real good. All right. Oh, you were surprised because you usually like the bright colored ones. Oh, yeah. There's still some beautiful ones. Um, so this one I'm going to do totally different. And it's going to look upside down to you. Well, I, maybe I could do it. I mean, it's going to have to look upside down to you guys. Ah. Yeah, the, it does cost quite a bit of money, for sure. Yeah, um, some of the um, CBD uh, creams and such. Mike, it must be FedEx like time of day when I'm on the live stream because it just went on, it went by again over the speed bump real loud. <laughs> okay, so this one is gonna have kind of some stems. It's going to look like um, like hollyhocks, kind of. Do you guys know what hollyhocks look like? It's kind of going to look like more of a flower, kind of up a vine kind of deal. So that's what this one's going to kind of look a little bit more like. You know, abstract, of course. It's not going to look probably anywhere near an actual, but it's going to be abstract. Okay, so not I didn't put it on each every one. 
All right. So I'm sorry, it'll look kind of upside down to you guys, but that's the orientation I have with my camera. Okay, and then I like to go back through with the green and just kind of pull the green back through. So then sometimes I go through and I like, you can kind of make them look more, so you wipe it off each time. You bring it in like four or five times making, you know, like five or six petals. I'll have to show you a picture. And you just kind of bring it to the center, trying to kind of, kind of abstractly make it look like petals. I'll try to give you guys a little bit more of an up close. I have a video on this one, and it, the bit on the video it came out way more better. But uh, I'll try to turn it. Ooh, on a live stream, I think I get a little too quick. Yeah, they're they're just all over. They're up in the gorge a lot, too. Up in the Columbia River Gorge. It's kind of fun because it's still kind of spreading out a little. Totally abstract, you know. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure if I show you a picture, Mike, you would be, oh, yeah. I've seen quite a few uh, the, up the gorge when we go up drives up the gorge. Okay. Now, I have a canvas, so I'm trying to get it pulled forward, and this one pushed to the back. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the um, other day I did those magnets on the live stream and uh, it had a lot of runoff paint. Look how the runoff dried from those magnets I did the other day. So I should be able to get quite a few really pretty necklaces out of that or some sort of collage work. But the runoff really dried very interesting. So I thought that was interesting. There's one piece and then there's one little tiny piece here. And that's just how it dripped down into the pan. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
All right, so I wanted to do also a um, one of the uh, toilet or no napkin ring. I'm gonna do a napkin ring pour. It's still gonna have quite a blue background, but I'm going to do it with um, a little bit of teal, turquoise, brown. So we're gonna kind of do not the flowers. We're gonna do a just an abstract. All right, that one's almost gone. Let me get that spread about. Oh, Vinny, um, I, I sell them locally. I did a craft fair this last weekend. And then online, I have an Etsy. And my Etsy shop is in my, um, oh, I see a cat hair. Darn cat hair trying to sneak in. That's the thing with having two long-haired cats. Um, the description, or my Etsy is in, like, the description of any of my videos or in my About page or in the channel art, the, like, banner thing on the first page. I sell a whole variety of things. I sell light switch covers, artwork, um jewelry boxes, magnets, tiles, just a whole menagerie of stuff. Where's H7 this morning? He's usually here. Sorry, guys, just paying attention to the trying to get a good coat down. And trying to get the sides as well. Get the excess off. It looks like I had more than enough, but I almost think I have barely enough. Oh, thank you, Katie. Thank you. And actually, I'm going to be adding a lot more stuff to it, for sure. That's kind of the plan for the afternoon is to work on my Etsy. Okay, let's see. I think, yeah, I can get a little bit more. I need just a little bit more right through there. So these are those napkin rings from the Dollar Tree. I think I'm going to set it right about there. Oh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Katie. You guys are both working on it. Thank you. Okay, so this is going to be some teals, some turquoise. And might as well go with some ultramarine blue. And I'm going to grab some browns, burnt umber. And this one I've been really enjoying. This is Deco Arts Pebble. And it's a real nice mellow, um, almost like chocolate milk kind of, maybe a light chocolate milk. But it's called, um, the color is called Pebble by Deco Art. So here's a little bit of that pebble. Some ultramarine blue. Giving everything a little bit of a shake before I put it in. Some turquoise. Some teal. And then some burnt umber. Something had fallen there on it. Okay, let me just push the canvas back on these cups better. Why isn't it wanting to, there we go. But somebody said just didn't want to sit there. All right, awesome. 
All right, so I'm gonna, now I'm just gonna drag this. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do just a quick mix, not much. Now I'm gonna drag it across. All right, now I'm gonna pull that apart, pull that a little bit. Now let's see this scary torch, how it's doing. Oh, all right, Dina, I totally understand. I do that a lot. Just kind of spread this out, see what we can get, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more down. A little bit of a bare spot, cleaning that up. Wipe my hands off, and then I'm going to blow out a little bit of the edges. Not much, though, just a little bit, and then I'm going to put a little bit more down. All right, Vinny. Yeah, I, I, I need to use the Instagram and Twitter more. I kind of forget sometimes, get busy, and but yeah, I need to use it a little bit more. And uh, Dina, how was your weekend with the grandkids? I used to be a lot more active on Twitter, but I just don't seem to be anymore, but I need to get back to it. I don't know. I kind of like it. I, I had said I was going to put more on it, but I almost kind of like just the abstract, not a ton there. Okay, what I need to do, this tray is not working for me. Move that tray out of the way and put my head in the paint. <laughs> I almost just did. Okay, I'm just putting that out on some cups, guys, because that tray was like wobbly. And I don't want to lose. All right, there we go. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, it almost looks like a bird flying. I don't know, what do you guys think? I almost kind of like just the abstract, and the rest of it just blue. I was going to put just a little bit here. I can't decide. <clears throat> I can't quite decide. I'm going to drink a water and look at it for a minute. I've been having a lot of fun with these 
you know, a lot of times I would just go straight across or straight diagonal. I've been having a lot of fun with these. Um, I don't know if you call them a C, but kind of an abstract C on there. Let's see. I wish I could get just a little bit more paint right here. I kind of think I'm going to leave it alone, except for now I've mucked up this corner. So now I just have to fix the corner a bit. So what do you guys think? Do you think it needs more or do you think I should actually just leave it? I kind of, I don't know. I was at first, I was for sure going to put more on it, but I kind of just, it's kind of just minimal, but I kind of like the minimal, just kind of off to the side, abstract. Got an, I like it. We got a more. You know what I could do? Maybe just put, uh, I get this. Well, you know what? If I did it bad, I guess we could kind of just squish it off the side. I guess if we messed it up, we could push it off. I'll put a little bit just kind of kind of going off like maybe off like here. But if we don't like it, you know, that's what we could do. We could just push it off the side and waste the paint. But I'm going to go kind of not so much. I'm going to go just a little bit. Yeah. This one is where you get kind of nervous here, you know, like, oh, I don't know what direction to go. Okay, now we have to spread. Now the trick is spreading that one a little bit without mucking up this side. So. So now what I'm going to do with this one is really blow this edge and barely blow this edge. And see, that gives a complete different look. And then I'm like, I don't know. But all we have to do is just push it off if we don't like it. <laughs> Hello, Yasmin. All right, welcome. We're just kind of playing around with a little paint. All right, yeah, you're gonna play with some paint too? That would be awesome. All right, so.
Oh, thank you, thank you. Now we're gearing up for the next one. This Friday, this weekend will be a big one. And this weekend, uh, we set up the day before, and then we go back and we uh, do the actual sell on Friday. I can't decide. <laughs> I'm glad my torch isn't acting up. That was a little scary. If anybody was here earlier, did you see that? My torch was acting weird. Husband to the rescue. He came and fixed it for me. Yes, it was like a flamethrower earlier. Yeah, um, it, it, certain areas seem like my area, we have a lot of uh, sales, uh, craft fairs, bazaars, art sales, things like that. And so um, it depends on your area. My area has a ton of them. So you just got to go look in your area. I know I've talked to a few people um, up like the East Coast doesn't seem to do them, it sounds like, as much as our area. Yeah, I don't know. Usually my torch is pretty good. So what do you guys think? Did, was that a fail or good that I added that on? I kind of like it. I, I wasn't real sure at first. Oh, see, I've used my torch for that torch I've had for a year and a half. And that's the first time it's ever done that. I don't know what's wrong with it. So uh, if you're just now coming in, I just had this part of it, and then we were kind of undecided. I wasn't sure if I was going to do this part of it, but we felt like it just kind of needed a little more something. So we put that little bit of extra over there on the edge. Yeah, I guess it's Weird Torch Tuesday. It was so weird. Um, and then also, guys, I wanted to let, let you know, this Friday... I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a live stream. I may do one. I may not. And it may be just later in the day. I don't know. Normally, my live streams are always Tuesday and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But this Friday, we will be setting up for our big, this is the, it's got usually about 10 to 12,000 people. So um, this is our bigger cell this Friday with 10 to 12. Oh, if I can even talk, 10 to 12,000 people. Uh, so, yeah, um, uh, we, we've got a, this Friday we set up, Saturday's the sell, and then Saturday we sell all day long, and then we have one hour to take it down. That's what I was thinking. Uh, maybe I could do one when I set up. See, it depends on if they have music going over the intercom. Sometimes they'll have music going over the intercom and then I can't. So I'm not sure. But um, I just wanted to let you know that I more than likely won't be right on at 9 o'clock. And it'll, maybe I won't be on at all on Friday or maybe I'll just pop on when I get a chance on Friday. I, I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. So um, I kind of like the real abstract look of this one. And it's got some real pretty lacings through here got some bigger cells got some real little itty bitty cells got a kind of nice variety there so yeah it would be kind of interesting to go live while we're setting up you guys can see all around us like I hate the noise because it's a huge huge room and people are setting up and every once in a while you hear glass break and you know somebody's precious item that they have there to sell has broken. Because every once in a while you hear around you a little bit. Because everybody's so frantic to get set up. So this last weekend, I had the most awesome experience. Uh, so last weekend, uh, I was doing my sell. And a little girl came through. She was only probably four or five years old. 
And she come through and she just, her eyes were just wide. She was looking at all the colors and all the artwork. And she just stood there. And then all of a sudden she goes, it's just so abstract. But she was probably four or five years old. And she goes, it's so abstract. I thought it was just so cute. She was the sweetest little thing. She really appreciated the art. And she just was in awe looking at all the colors. And she knew what abstract art was. So I thought that was just awesome that somebody knew what, at four or five years old, she knew what abstract art is. Oh, and a dog underneath it down here, down here. Yeah, it's so cool how you can look at it and you can see this from one angle, you can kind of see one thing and from one angle, you can see something else. and. That's what's kind of cool. You can see different things throughout. The one thing I don't like is I don't like this definite line I have here. And that's the sort of things I'll do. I'll just sit here and mess with it like, oh, this little bit, that little bit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can, yeah, I can see it. That's awesome. So guys, this is my last one for today. Um, but uh, I can, I'll hang out for two or three more minutes. I usually try to do about an hour and we're at 57 minutes. So I'll take the gloves off though. Those gloves get so sweaty. But and a couple of people at the sale, you know, talked to me and got my business card for possible future um, commission paintings or a couple of people want to do some classes. It's kind of fun during the holiday season. A lot of people like to get together and do the paint pouring classes. Uh, for some reason, they seem to be a lot more popular, I guess, because you have family in from out of town and that stuff. So um, I talked to a few people on uh, some upcoming classes that I'll be teaching them. So, yeah, it was pretty uh, successful sell. So today we did a few different abstract flower uh, ones. Then we did this abstract napkin ring. So in total, we did five paint pours. So I think that was that was pretty good. That's what I was kind of thinking, Dina. I was looking at it thinking of fish. I was thinking that. Yeah, I've done a few classes. I like to go to wherever and do the classes because they take so long to dry. So then I just let everyone know ahead of time you need such amount of drying space, you know, for whatever amount of paintings you're going to do. And then I like to just bring all the paint all mixed up in the squirt bottles. It's already ready to go and mixed up. And then I bring all the supplies to them and I do the class right um, I, in churches and um, community centers, rec halls, like that sort of situation usually. So, yeah. So what do you guys got planned for the rest of your day? What are you guys going to do? Oh, yeah. Nina, did you get any salmon? You remind me by saying you said uh, you see the fish coming on the painting. Did you uh, did you get any fish? Did you get any salmon? So, yeah, uh, I'm going to be photoing most of the afternoon. I'm going to be photoing for Etsy. That's kind of my plans for the day. Oh, three on Sunday. Awesome. Awesome. I've got some real nice, um, two real nice fillets that I think I might take out uh, out of the freezer for maybe tomorrow's dinner. That might be what we'll have tomorrow night. Uh, tonight I'm going to make some soup. It's uh, it's like cabbage rolls, but deconstructed into a soup. It's cabbage roll soup. So it's got rice and meat and cabbage. And it's kind of got a tomato base. Oh, you're going again today. Awesome. That's so awesome. I love to fish. And Mike, he's a huge, he loves, he would fish every single day if he could. 
oh, you're, I need to go see the doctor. My ear's been hurting too. That's no good. It feels plugged up. That's annoying. So, yeah, go get it checked out. I hate going to the doctor, though. I avoid it at all costs. <laughs> I'm really stubborn about going to the doctor, really bad. Oh, it's six o'clock there. All right. You're going to be painting today. That sounds like an awesome day, too. So you guys can kind of watch as it kind of has developed. It's kind of changed a bit. So, all right, guys, we're at an hour and one minute. So I try to stay about an hour. So um, I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to set up my little photo area. I set up a little, I call it photo booth, but a little area with um, under the skylight so I can get some real nit natural light for my photos for Etsy. Oh, no, the one you just had surgery for. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I want to get that checked out and not let it go so long just in case. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yasmin, thank you so much for coming. We've we've got a real great group around here. So you're welcome anytime in the live streams. We're usually it's nine o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time on Tuesdays and Fridays. But this week it's only gonna be Tuesday. But usually it's Tuesday and Friday. Oh, you have a permanent tube in your ear? Yeah, my son almost had to have that done, but um when they they first went in and removed the tonsils to see if that would help with the whole sinuses and ear issues and stuff. And thankfully, when they removed the tonsils, it cleared up his ear issues as well, because that was our next step. The next month, we were going to get a permanent tube in his ear, but we didn't end up having to do that. I know uh, that's uh, that can be kind of difficult sometimes if you're a, a swimmer and that can cause a lot of issues. My cousin had a tube in his ear. Oh, you've been peeking before? Oh, yeah, you're welcome. We got a great group of people here. Yeah, come in, say hi. Yeah, we love hanging out with everybody. Yeah, I've heard about the, um, uh, most everybody I know has had problems with them coming out and has had to eventually go in and have a permanent one put in. Most people that I know that have had the tubes done has eventually had the permanent ones. We have a little neighbor boy that had a permanent one in, my cousin. It's, it seems to be pretty common. So, all right, guys, you have an awesome, awesome day. It's a beautiful day here. Beautiful fall day. It's chilly, but it's bright and sunny out. So I'm going to try to get out and enjoy this beautiful day. You guys get out and enjoy your day if you get a chance. So I'm going to take off. But um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I appreciate you when you hang out and chat with me. And it's so awesome to have you guys. So you guys have a great day and enjoy your day.